Okay, for our next problem, problem number 3 from the book of Ferdinand Singer again, number 57. So we have the coefficient of kinetic friction under the block A. And the figure is 0.3 in block B is 0.2. Find the acceleration of the system and the tension in the coil. So here we have a 300 block. It tends to go downward. And we have here 200 and 100 pounds tends to move down to the left. If the tension here due to these two forces is greater than the tension here due to the 300 pound. Otherwise, if this 300 pounds is greater than the tension due to these two forces or two weights, therefore, the direction of motion will be this one. So, the 300 pounds will go downwards and these two will go up to the right. So we can check that by simply solving first for the tension due to these two blocks. So that is simply summation of the x component of the 200 pounds and the x component of the 100 pounds. So let us denote that as f sub b sub x and f sub a sub y. So we can solve that by simply solving the solving the side of this force triangle. So we have sine 30 so we have 200 sine 30 equals to 100 pounds and 100 sine 30 equals to 50 pounds for f sub a sub y and of course the friction forces f sub a and f sub b is simply normal force multiplied by coefficient of friction so for block a we have here so the normal force is 100 cosine 30 so once and multiplied by 0.3 that is that is equivalent to 25.98 similarly for f sub b equals to the normal force multiplied by the coefficient of friction at block b so we have 200 cosine 30 times 0.2 which is equal to 36.64 so therefore the tension due to these two blocks is simply the friction forces and the forces along x of both blocks. So that is equivalent to 212.62 which is less than 300 pounds. So therefore, the direction of motion will be going down for the 300 block and going up to the right for the 200 and 100 pounds block. Okay, let us now solve for the acceleration of the system and the tension in each coil. So let us denote the tension in each coil as T2 and T1. So this tension is equal to this tension. So we will no longer use 300 for this cable and also to this cable. So we will use T sub 2 for this tension and T sub 1 for this one. Considering the free body diagram of each, so we have here first for this block 300 pounds or 300 pounds block. So we have summation of x equals W over G times A or summation of forces. So we have now positive forces since the direction of motion is downward. So we have 300 pounds and we have here the tension T2 was 2 W 300 over 32.2 multiplied by the acceleration. The acceleration here is the unknown and the tension of force. So let us consider this equation 1. This is D2. For the next block, we have here block B. So let us consider the free body diagram of this one. So for 200 pound block, the summation of forces along X equals to W over G times A. The positive forces will be, of course, T2 change up to the right. Then the negative forces will be component of the 200 pounds block. So we have F sub B sub X minus F sub B sub X minus, of course, the friction force F sub B minus, of course, 10 A1 equals to W over G times A. So we have T2 minus F sub B sub X, so we have 100 pounds minus the friction force 36.64 minus T1 equals to the weight of the blocks 200 over G capital 2.2 multiplied by A. So we have here T2 minus T1 minus 136.64 equals to 200 over 32.2 times A or this is equal to T2 minus T1 minus 
0.64 equals to 6.21a. So let us denote this as equation 2. Okay, for 100 pounds block, so we have positive force along x, so we have P1, then negative force FA, and the horizontal component of 100 pounds, which is 50 pounds, or 50, minus 50 pounds, equals to the value over G times A. So we have P1 minus F sub A is 25.98 minus 50 equals to the weight 100 over 32.2 multiplied by A. So we have P1 minus 75.98 equals to 3.11 A. Let us denote this as equation 3. We can now solve A, P1, and P2 using substitution. So before we can substitute this one, let us solve P1 first. So equals to 75.98 plus 3.11a. So this is our equation 3. So we need to substitute this to equation 2. So we have P2 minus 75.98 plus 3.11a minus 134.64 equals to 6. 21a. Simplifying this one, so we have P2 minus 210.62 equals to 9.31 or 9.32a. So T2 equals to 210.62 plus 9.32a. We can now substitute these two equation 1. So this is equation 4. So we can now substitute equation 4 to equation 1. So from equation 1, so we have 300 minus 210.62 plus 9.32a equals to 300 over 32.2 times a. So simplifying this one, so we have 89.38 equals to 18.64. A. So A will be 4.8 feet per second square. To solve for T1 and T2, we will just use equation 3 and equation 4. So from equation 3, we have T1 equals 75.98 plus 3.11 multiplied by 4.8 is equal to 90.91 pounds. Similarly, from equation 4, we have P2 equals to 210.62 plus 9.32 A, 4.8. So this is equal to 255.36 pounds. 